Well, tonight on the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, the Democrats, they have done it again. Jamal Bowman and the Democrats decide to do the thing they always do, thinking that we all silly and talking about some sort of hip hop. Now, let me tell you something. I like hip hop. I, when I go to work out in the gym, riding in the, in my car, I listen to hip hop sometime. Like I listen to R and B and, um, you know, I want to listen to some soul music or whatever kind of music I want to listen to. Right. But that's entertainment. But let's get into this task force that Jamal Bowman talking about creating for black people. So he said the task force led by Jamal Bowman will use hip hop's messaging of building a more equitable society to help spearhead initiatives to address economic equality, affordable housing, and racial justice imperatives. Bowman explained that the inspiration behind the task force came from reflecting on how the genre impacted him over the years. Artists like Eric B and Rock Kim, Queen Latifah, Chuck D and Public Enemy inspired New York lawmaker throughout his life, he said, including during his time as an educator. So they were very instrumental in creating a curriculum and blueprint for my life. He said, I owe a lot of who I am to the lessons that they taught me on and through their music. Now, if you're quoting public enemy and if you know the, the music from public enemy, like, you know, like, you know, uh, fight the powers that be and, and rebel without a pause and I like, come on, man. It's like, you are nothing like what public enemy was talking about. You are nothing like queen Latifah in the beginning was talking about. You surely like nothing like Eric B and Rock Kim was talking about, bruh. That's the, so stop lying about these hip hop artists who were very instrumental in hip hop. This dude is trying to use a genre that's a black American genre and still trying to ride it to play along with this Democrat talking point crap. Let's talk about the migrants. You're not talking about um, you create you creating anything related to music with them, you just giving them money. Stop playing with us, man. Stop playing. Every time it's something for black people, you want to play a game. If you're not going to the church, you're talking about hip hop and it's stupid already. Do you think, Oh my God, hip hop. I'm going to go vote for the Democrats. Cause boy, they gonna create a hip hop caucus. They, once again, ladies and gentlemen, they don't do this with nobody else, but black Americans. They're not talking about a rock and roll caucus. They're not talking about a country music. And I say white country music caucus because black folks are starting to try to go in and take back country music. And we created that anyway. They're not talking about no merengue or, 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 or bachata or salsa caucus. No, only black folks because they think we're stupid. They think we're dumb. That all you got to do is bring out some hip hop artists and we'll just follow right along. Let's continue. Now, say hip hop was celebrated his 50th anniversary last August has been used as a political tool for black. And, and, and first of all, they mentioned in Brown, they did not use nothing for no Brown. So they need to stop referring to Brown. We talking about black folks. He's saying Bowman said he hopes to capitalize on that through the task force. Now he, he just played himself. You're hoping to capitalize on black folks that like hip hop. First of all, black folks that like hip hop, not trying to think about no Democrats at all. Well, and one of their main artists right now, which is a degenerate, even sexy red has said that she was supporting Trump because talking about the stimmies, right? So how, how are you going to get people on board? These younger people on board when they keep talking about Trump gave him a stimulus check. Now they continue to say hip hop has always been about ending poverty in America by fully funding our public schools. It's always been about, you know, the justice reform and police reform. Um, no hip hop talked about getting rid of racism, white supremacy. Hip hop talked about getting these wicked police off our back. That's what hip hop talked about. Hip hop talked about mass incarceration of our people. Hip hop talked about, how y'all take funding and, and resources out the black communities and give it to others. And we left with nothing but crime and pillaging. Hip hop talk about how we don't get to live the same life as the folks in this country. That's what hip hop talk about. You won't really want to go there. So no, 
They're not talking about reforming anything. They're talking about getting rid of a wicked system. He continued to say it's always been about affordable housing and dealing with the issue of threats of violence. No, it's been about also black folks getting their money so we can live like everybody else. He seems to say at the moment in particular, when you consider the Black Lives Matter movement to the ceasefire movement and the fight that continues for freedom, justice, and equality, he said now it's time to build political power at a level that has never been done before. He added, they say some of that is already happening. They say September artists, including Fat Joe. Hold on, bro. Fat Joe. Fat Joe. Like, like nobody listens to Fat Joe in the black community. He's not even a black man. What are you talking about? Rick Ross. Nobody pay attention to Rick Ross politically. And I don't know Rick Ross even talking about politics. Buster Rhymes was the same Buster Rhymes that disrespected black Americans. Talking about Caribbeans created hip hop. They was there in the beginning. Him. Nobody listened to him either. So a partner with power to the patients to film a public service announcement demanded legislators create a more honest, affordable and equitable health care system. What that you're going to take care of the migrants with? Cause every time we speak up or something, we don't get it. That's a group like the black music action coalition, the recording Academy and black music collective have also joined forces with Bowman and representative Hank Johnson in calling for the passage of the restoring artist protection act and say a bill that would limit the admissibility of an artist, creative or artistic expression against them in court. And every year hip hop, it said, uh, brings artists. It said and legislators through the hip hop caucus and say, it's been going on in terms of rappers and artists and the industry and interfacing with elected officials on a constant basis. And say we just want to keep that up. It say a notch and make it more consistent. It said, make us more intentional and the use of power of the genre as a multi-billion dollar global economy and say to move lawmakers in terms of helping them to understand what's happening in our most marginalized communities. A part of that, he said he added is that means conducting hip hop on the hill once a month rather than once a year. So he want artists to constantly be talking to lawmakers and say about what they're going through in their communities and what's happening in their communities. So lawmakers understand that the hip hop artists is they come from the most marginalized, neglected place in our country. Is that some of the most prominent hip hop artists have shared what it's like to grow up in these places. Now they mention the law of Jesus. They talking about Eminem. They said grew up in a poverty in a trailer park. It's a story that many Americans relate to. No, no, no. Black Americans don't relate to no trailer park. That's not how we live. Now you talking about white people. That's different, but we don't relate to that. And hip hop is a black American genre. Now, Bowman also points out how legitimizing hip hop can lead to widespread cultural change. He said one way he said, he said is addressing, oh God. oh God, here we go. The misogyny in both the genre and discourse and talking about now, now he go attack, basically attacking black men, attacking black men. And he pointed out to the Megan, the stallion and Tory Lane's case. And, and, and so he's making, he's gender warring with that. Like, look, I I, I, just, I just came with this guy. Look, let me, let me say something. You can create all the hip hop caucus you want. You can create all the hip hop forums you want. You can go talk to every rapper you want to, Democrats. Go ahead. Rappers that are successful, at least, they don't live the lives of everyday black people. Number two, we're not following what a rapper says. I don't care what Buster Rhymes says about politics. Now, if he want to spit a hot 16 to a nice beat, I'll listen to it. If Rick Ross put out a record, I'm going to go listen to it. I don't care what Rick Ross talking about when it comes to politics. In my mind, they have their particular thing they're great at, and that's music. And I will greatly listen to them in music. If they want to advocate for the community in their music, great. But when it comes to talking to lawmakers and trying to advocate for things, they're not advocating for reparations. They're not advocating for an anti-black hate crime bill. So what are they up there for? If they want to talk about those things, put it in the record to a good beat and spit that hot 16. I'll listen to that all day long with them, but I still will not sit up here and look to no freaking entertainers as people to be speaking for the black community, the same respect you give the white community, the Hispanic community, the Asian community. You don't go to none of those artists. Why aren't you talking to, to the K-pop people, 
right, for the Asian community. Go talk to them. Bring them up there to talk. Go talk to the white country music artists to talk for the white community. You don't do that with nobody else but black folks. And what we're saying is, Democrats, it do not matter who you talk to. If you don't talk to the grassroots, you talk to nobody. Gone are the days that you could bring up entertainers and we're going to say, oh, yeah, uh, Cardi B says this. Oh, we're going to do it. Oh, Buster Rhymes. Like, nobody cares about these people like that. Haven't y'all realized that? Like Democrats, you're going to lose because you keep insulting the black community even more. Every day you trying to play the same playbook. And it's like, I've never seen a group of people who have so much money and so-called education, but yet you're wasting money and your education isn't worth the paper that it's printed on. Even someone, even a child could see that what y'all doing is not working. Nobody is listening to y'all no more. You got to bring substance to the black community. We told you behind reparations in the form of cash payments. That's what we told you behind. We don't care about no hip hop artists. We told you behind the anti-black hate crime bill. That's what we told you at minimum. We told you to end qualified immunity with these race soldiers. That's what we told you. You haven't done none of it. So whatever you create, create is going to fall to the ground. You're wasting your time. Now you came out talking about reparations should be $333,000. Okay. Stay on that. Stay on that conversation. Push that. That's the only thing I want to hear from you, Jamal Bowman, is what you were saying right there. And you keep pushing that because this hip. No, we're not voting for you if we don't get anything out of it. Because D Jamal Bowman, listen to me. You in New York, look at all the things the migrants are getting. Look, it was just reported the migrants are getting cars now. The migrants are getting cars. They said sometimes some of their cars up to 2022. The migrants are driving their cars up to the hotel and getting out of there and going to live it up. So now the migrants got cars. They already had mopeds. They where all that money coming from. Now the Democrats questioning where the money coming from, how are they getting cars now? They don't have a driver's license. So they, they, they already in this country, not like they should be. They driving on New York streets with no driver's license. They getting money and yet they still living in the hotel. They can't, that's what you should be addressing Jamal Bowman in New York. Not some, some hip hop crap that you're talking about. This is why a lot of people you're going to lose you, at least with the black community. I know some people going to vote for you in other communities and that's fine, but, but we sick and we sick and tired of that. We're sick and tired of it. And we can't take you seriously. This is extremely offensive at this point. And you have no problem offending black America because you think, oh, they stupid. They're going to come out and vote for us anyway. And in some cases, and so, cause I gotta be real in some cases, some black folks will come out and vote for you. You hundred percent right on that one. Some black folks are silly enough to do that. I can't knock you on that. Can't knock you, but you have a new group of black people that's coming up. And this new group of black people are saying to you this, no, either give us what we need or don't worry about it. We just choose the couch, sir. Cause you know what? If we got to get it on our own, what do we need to vote for? We just do it on our own and get it out of the mud on our own. Like our ancestors always done. Because to me, some of the, one of the greatest cons they ever told us is to go vote for y'all because you notice we got more done when we didn't go vote for y'all versus when we got as a community got together and did it on our own. We still sitting up here playing games with y'all. Well, what's the point of black representation if they represent well, white supremacy? What's the point? What is the freaking point? So Jamal Bowman, you can miss me with that, bro. You can miss me with that. The worst thing you could do is bring up some doggone rapper or any kind of musician to speak so-called speak for the black community. You, you still playing the same Democrat playbook and I can't wait till all you Democrats get voted out and you fail in November.